Amen. 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 Well, if nothing else, y'all, we're going to get in this word. Amen. 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 I will be coming from the book of Deuteronomy this morning. Amen. The book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, will be our reference scripture. 28, and I'll be reading verses 1 through 10. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verses 1 through 10. Amen. Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 through 10. Amen. Amen. And scripture reads, Now it shall, it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to, be, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and, and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall you be, be fruit of your body the produce of your, of, of your ground and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle and the offsprings of your flocks. Blessed shall, blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall be when you come, come in and blessed shall be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessings on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. I have read Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 through 10. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, we come to you in your son Jesus' name. We thank you for your grace and your mercy right now, Father God. And we just we just pray, Lord, that 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 your Holy Spirit, Father God, will just fall into this place, O oh Lord God, that we will be filled with your Spirit, Father God. We pray, Lord, as John said, that allow us to decrease as you increase right now, Father God. And Father God, we just pray, Lord, that, 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 that your word will go forth, Father God, and touch the soul that you permitted to touch right now, Father God. And we pray, Lord, that it will take root into the hearts of your people right now, Father God. We already speak the victory over the lives of your people right now, Father God. Father God, that they will leave out of here changed right now, Father God. And you've already answered their prayers, oh Lord God. You see them where they are right now, Father God, and you know what they've been struggling with right now, Father God. So I pray, Lord, that you will open their ears and their minds and prepare their, their mind right now and their hearts, Father God, to hear your word right now, Father God. And Father God, we speak victory, Father God. You said you cause us always to triumph right now, Father God. And we believe it right now, Father God. And we believe that we're walking in a new day destiny right now, Father God. Father God, in a new season right now, Father God, a season of, of, of blessings right now, Father God. And we thank you in your son, Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 And I want to title this this morning, y'all. Obedience brings blessings beyond measure. Amen. Amen. Obedience brings blessings beyond measure all right so i just wanna i just really want to hit on i'm gonna try not to be up here too long amen but i want to talk about um how the blessings of god it flows through um an obedient vessel so to speak amen the blessings of god are, are designed to flow through all right, acts of obedience, amen? The Bible tells me that 
He's already blessed us in the heavenly places, amen, with all the spiritual blessings, amen. He's already released them, amen, but, but in order for us to walk in the blessings of God, it's attached to your obedience to his word. Can I get an amen? Amen. I know we like to say we, 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 we're blessed in the city, blessed in the field. Amen. We like to say them things. We like we pray for blessings. Amen. We pray. We pray for so much, y'all. But but we fail to realize that your disobedience restrains the blessings flowing from heaven into your life. Amen. Is that is that a true statement? Before I before I move on. Amen. If 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 you continue to walk in disobedience. You can't expect the blessings of God to just flow to you. Amen? And, and we, we, we understand those things in the natural. Amen? We understand those things in the natural. As fathers, as, as fathers and parents, amen, we don't bless our children when they walk in and, and they, they got a hard head. Amen? That, you, you, that, that hardens your heart to say, you know what, I don't want to give you nothing because you're being hard-headed. Amen? So if we know that in the natural, amen, that it's time to switch on our spiritual mind, amen, and say, and, and say to ourselves, amen, am I really walking in obedience, amen? But it's time to get to a place, y'all, to where we move past just being hearers of the word, amen? We move past just this, this surface level of Christianity, amen, because the Bible tells me we should be not only hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. Amen. And the Bible says when you're doers of the word, it's that man who will be blessed in all of his ways. Amen. It's the, it's the man and woman of God who walk in obedience. Amen. Who, 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 who walk in obedience that can expect blessings. Another scripture that comes, comes to mind is when God was talking to Joshua. Amen. When Joshua took over, amen, after Moses had died. Amen. The people was in a raid. They didn't know what to do. But, but, but God spoke to Joshua. And he said, listen, I want you to obey my every commandment. I got an assignment for you. Amen. I got an assignment for you. Obey my every commandment. I don't want you to turn to it from the left or to the right. Amen. And I want you to meditate on my word day and night. I want you to get my word down in your heart so you can walk by my statutes. Amen. And then he said, then you will be prosperous in all of your ways. How many of y'all want to prosper? Amen. Amen? I'm serious. How many of y'all really want to prosper in life? Amen. The formula is being obedient to God's word. Amen. That's that's the formula. And we have to get to that place where we're not just, like I said, on the surface level of, 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 of obedience. And it can't be just, y'all, it can't be just, just this occasional. Amen. Y'all be patient with me this morning. It can't be just this occasional, you know, uh, 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 where, where, you, where you try to be obedient under certain circumstances, so to speak. Amen? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Where you try to be obedient just under certain circumstances when you find yourself in trouble. Amen? And now you want to cry out to God and say, you know what, Lord? I, I promise you, if you get me out of this, I'm going to do right. Amen. I promise you, if you help me, if you help my kids this time, I promise you I'll stop doing everything else. Amen. It's, 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 we got to get past what we're trying to play God for a fool. Amen. We're trying to play God. Amen. We have to, and, and listen, we have to get to that place too, y'all, because I like, I like to look at it from the natural as if we're raising children. Amen. Because as a, as a, as a, as a parent, as a parent, you, you, know, you, know how, you, know how, you know how children, they, they beg for something, and they say, Mama or Daddy, if you buy me this, I promise you I will clean up my room. I promise you I will, I will wash the dishes. If you buy this, I promise you I will, I will be on my, on my game. I will make straight A's the rest of the year. Now, 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 you know as a parent, amen, because they want this thing so bad, they willing to say anything in the moment, Right? But, but, and that's the thing, y'all. We can't fool God. Okay? You can't fool God in that moment. God knows if you are, listen, because it's not just the occasional signs of obedience. This has to be a lifestyle, y'all. Amen? This has to be a lifestyle. God knows if you've turned from a lifestyle of disobedience. 
Amen. He knows he knows your heart. Amen. He knows whether or not you're for real when it comes to obeying his word. And we, 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 we have to make it. That's why the word talks about being diligent, y'all. OK, not 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 walking in obedience. It don't just come naturally. OK, walking in obedience. It don't just come overnight. This is something that you have to practice on a day to day basis. Amen. That's why Paul said you have to die to flesh daily. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. You have to die to flesh daily. This is something that you, you don't just you don't just try to do it one day and then you just throw in the towel the next day. Amen. If you want to walk in blessings. Amen. But but it, it has to become a lifestyle. Amen. I, I, I think about how I think about how um, in the Old Testament. All right. God was pretty cut and dry. Amen. God was pretty cut and dry because he told the children of Israel, listen, choose ye this day. Amen. Either you're going to choose blessings or you're going to choose curses. Amen. Either you're going to choose blessings or you're going to choose curses. I will give you blessings if you walk in obedience. But if you walk in disobedience, here goes the curses. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Now, now I know in, in, in our New Testament time, amen, in our New Testament time, it's the same thing because we don't like to, we don't like to really accept the fact that you may have curses attached to your life based on your disobedience. We don't like to talk about curses, but there are curses attached to people's lives because of this disobedience. Amen. And the Bible says in the New Testament that when you continue to, to live a life of disobedience, he gives you over to a debased mind. He gives you over to those things. Amen. Those things that you feel like you have to chase, that, that, that sinful lifestyle. Amen. And now you're walking in a curse. And, and, that, and now you can't turn it off. Amen. Because you tiptoed around this disobedience and you lived this life of sin for so long. He said, you know what? I'm going to give you over to this. Amen. I'm going to give you over to this disobedience. Amen. You want to continue to live in this. And it's just like the prodigal son. Amen. It's just like the prodigal son. He thought that lifestyle was better than what he had at home. He thought that lifestyle. Amen. The, the, the likes. Amen. He running with women. He drinking. He partying. Amen. From the outside looking in, that looks attractive. Amen, because it looks like everybody's having fun. Amen, and that's what Satan does, y'all. He makes this thing, he makes sin look so good to the flesh. He makes sin and disobedience, amen, look so good to the flesh. You know what, it's all right, man. Did God, that's what he said in the garden. He, did God really say that you can't have this? Did God really say, you know what, God, you, God just don't want you to be as, as, as wise as him. Amen. God just don't want you to have fun. Amen. And that's what the world tells us, man. Y'all, y'all Christians don't have no fun. I don't live a boring life, y'all. <laughs> Amen. I don't live a boring life. Amen. I don't, I don't walk in sin no more, but my life is not boring. I enjoy being a Christian now. Amen. I enjoy being saved. Amen. I enjoy this. Amen. I love it. Amen. And, and that's the thing. You're not looking over your shoulder no more. Amen. You ain't worried about different things no more. Amen. But that's that's but, but it has to become a lifestyle. It has to become a lifestyle. Amen. But 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 in the in the Bible days, in the Old Testament, God said, listen, God, he, he was cutting dry on these things. And he said, those who are disobedient. Curses will follow you. Amen. amen. Those who walk in disobedience. Amen. Curses will follow you. He told the children of Israel. Amen. Because of your disobedience, there will be plagues following you. Because of your disobedience, there will be famine following you. Amen. Because of your disobedience, you will experience all type of sickness and fever. Amen. You will, you will continually be broke. Every, every time you try to work, it's going to be like you, you having a hole in your pocket. Amen. Because of your disobedience. You, 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 you work. He said, listen, he said, listen, even the vineyards you plant, somebody else going to enjoy those vineyards because of your disobedience. 
Amen. He went on even to say, listen, even, even you're going to be betrothed to a wife, but somebody else going to lay with that woman because of your disobedience. Amen. He said, even your children, because of your disobedience, your children are going to be overtaken by other countries, other lands. Amen. All these things that's pulling at our kids right now because of our disobedience. Do you see how you can affect your kids? Because of your disobedience. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? You can affect your children, your children's children, because of your disobedience. That's what the Bible say. I visit the iniquities of the fathers down to the third and the fourth generation. That's what the Bible says. I visit the iniquities of the father because of what your great great granddaddy did. Amen. Because of the lifestyle he chose to live. Is, is still following in, in, in your bloodline because of what they did. Amen. But, but, but listen, this is, the, this is the great thing about God. That same scripture goes on to say, but for those who love me, for those who obey me, you know it. For those who obey me, I will bless your generations down to a thousand. Amen. To a thousand generations. Amen. So you have the power to even change the course of your bloodline, man, because of obedience. Amen. Don't you want your children to walk in, walk in blessings? Don't you want your grandchildren? Amen. Don't you want, listen, what, that's, the, that's the thing. Sometimes we're so selfish. We're so selfish because we feel like our disobedience ain't going to affect no, it ain't hurt nobody but me. That's a lie. That's a lie from Satan. It ain't hurting. No, I ain't hurting nobody. Yes, you are. Amen. When you're a believer, amen, the Bible is telling me you're setting up curses for the next generation because of your disobedience. Don't you want to bless your kids? Amen. Don't you want to, don't you want to, don't you want your bloodline to be blessed down to a thousand generations? Amen. But 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 the Bible, the Bible is 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 is, is so true, y'all, and it's so valid, amen, to, to where you can't argue with it. Amen. The thing about it, y'all, we choose to ignore God's word. That's by choice. We choose to ignore God's word. And the thing about and I, and I don't think we understand that every time we choose disobedience. We open up doors for demonic forces to come in. All right? I'm just talking this morning. Amen? Every time we, we, we choose to walk in disobedience, amen, I'm talking about a lifestyle of sin, amen, you open that door, amen, for demonic forces to come in and attach to your life. Do you feel what I'm saying? You put yourself in certain situations, Amen. Well, you know everything is going on in this house, but you chose to still go hang out in that house. Do you feel what I'm saying? You chose to still go hang out in that spot where everything is going on. And now you wonder why you thinking about doing them things. Do you feel what I'm saying? You know you don't do you know you don't do those things, but now you're one now that thing some type of spirit has attached to you. Do you feel what I'm saying? And now you're wondering, why am I feeling this way? Amen? Because you've entertained this. You've entertained this. The Bible tells me, it's, it, let these things not even be named amongst you. It's certain things that don't even be, need to be named amongst you. Amen? And, and, and I say that, listen, when you begin to walk in obedience, because some of us, we just, we just want to be liked. Amen? We just want to be accepted. So we, we don't want people to think we're acting funny. So we still go around, amen, knowing that it ain't nothing but sin and mess and everything going on over here. But we don't want our family and our friends to think we're acting funny. But that's your soul at stake. That's your peace at stake. Do you feel what I'm saying? That, and, and, and now you're coming home and you're feeling dirty. Now you're coming home and you, listen, now your conscience is messing with you because you've been in places that you know that you shouldn't have been. Amen. Amen. That you know you shouldn't have been. Amen? Amen? And you wonder why these feelings are attached to you now. And now you're attracted to things that you know you weren't attracted to 
before. Am I talking to anybody this morning? Y'all, this is real. I just got off my lesson. I just got off of it. This is real right here. Hey, man, when you, when you entertain things, you open that door, man. Hey, man, that's why you have to cut it off. Be intentional about it. Ask yourself, is, is this going to, listen, is this going to affect my spirit? If I go to this cookout, hey, man, is this going to affect my spirit? Hey, man, if I go to this place right here, hey, man, is this going is, 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 is to, this, is it going to help me reach my destiny or is it going to be a hindrance? To my destiny. Amen. Is it going to be a hindrance to my destiny? Amen. It's just like an athlete training, y'all. Amen. We were talking about it yesterday, pressing towards the mark. Y'all been watching the Olympics, right? Amen. It's a sole purpose to get that gold medal. So they do everything. They, 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 they cut out all types of food. Amen. They, they cut out all types of things because they're trying to reach that one goal. All right. We, we, we understand that in the natural. But when it comes to spiritual things, why do we keep entertaining other things that's going to stop us from reaching our full potential? Why do we keep having to play with that? Amen? Don't, don't, don't play with it. Amen? For, for those who are mature and want a deeper relationship with God, Paul said, by any means necessary. It, if I got to cut off family and friends to reach my potential in God, then so be it. Amen? Then so be it. You have to watch what you entertain. Amen? Because you, you, you think you're strong enough. Y'all, I'm all, I'm all off. You think you're strong enough. You think you're strong enough. Listen, the Bible tells me Lot pitched his tent toward, come on, minister. He pitched his tent toward so Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what Lot did. God gave him a choice. Listen, he, my, my, listen this, this is what Abraham said. You, you pick any, any land, pick whatever you want. The Bible said Lot turned his tent. He wanted to go toward Sodom. It looked good. What's going on over there in Sodom? Hey, 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 look, uncle, I love you, but I want, I, want this, I want this land over here. That's what he was saying. He pitched his tent towards Sodom. So every day he woke up, he didn't hear nothing but partying. Hey, Amen. Every night he went to bed, he couldn't even sleep because he didn't hear nothing but partying. But guess what? Little by little, him and his wife, him and his wife, and the children, they crept on over into Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, Amen. And we know the story. Amen. We know the story. So don't play with it, y'all. Don't play with it. Don't play with sin, man. Don't, don't, don't play with it. Amen. Do we get it right all the time? No, we don't get it right all the time. But I'm talking about a lifestyle, man. I'm talking about a lifestyle. You think you're strong enough. Your flesh ain't that strong. Your flesh ain't that strong. And once it's activated, Lord have mercy. You over and done with. Amen. Because when it has fully grown, it gives birth, amen, to death. When it has fully grown. So we have to get to that place, y'all, to where, listen, we're, we're, we have our mind made up to walk in obedience. Okay? Because that's where the blessings come. Amen. And, and that's where that's where God's favor. Um, that's where God's favor come into your life. And once you listen, when you start exercising obedience, he actually gives you more strength. Amen. He gives you more grace. He gives you more power. Amen. To say no to that very thing that's trying to kill you. Amen. The more and more you're obedient to God, you're strengthening your spirit, man. Amen. You're strengthening. You're strengthening the, the side of you that can fight. Amen. That can fight against sin. Amen. And, 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 and walking in obedience, y'all, is not always the popular thing. All right. I want to say that it's not always the popular thing. When you're walking in obedience to God, you become enemy with the world. OK. I would be less of a pastor if I say the world is going to like you when you start walking in obedience to God. No, nah, they're going to look at you funny. Yep. The same friends and families 
that used to dap you up, that used to hug you and embrace you. Hey, man, they, you know what they're going to say? You used to be cool. <laughs> That's what they're going to say to you. You used to be cool. Hey, man, well, hey, bro, you ain't, look, man, come on, man, it ain't nothing but a little, it ain't nothing but a, nah, man, I, mm -mm, no, nah, you used to be cool, hey, amen, and you're going to have to be okay with that. You're going to have to be okay with them saying that about you to walk in these type of blessings. I'm talking about a higher level in Christ now, y'all. Amen. You're going to have to get to that place. And it's going to be some things when you begin to walk in obedience. Amen. That ain't going to make sense to the human mind. That's yours and your surrounding people. Amen. It's not going to it's not going to always make sense. What am I saying? Amen. I'm reminded of the story of Naaman. Amen. The Bible said that, that, that he was a commander in the army and, and he had leprosy. His whole body was was leprosy. Amen. But 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 he heard about he heard about this 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 man of God that can, who can heal him. Amen. So so he went to he went to this prophet, Elijah. Amen. He went to this he went to this prophet expecting one thing, but he got another. Amen. And when he got when he got there, Elijah told him. I want you to go dip yourself in the Jordan River seven times. Amen. And this is what, this what Naaman's response was. He got angry, y'all. Because he said, what does he mean, go dip myself in the, in the Jordan River seven times? You mean to tell me I came all this way to hear this? This is what the Bible says. I thought you was going to pray over me and wave your hand over, I wave your hand over my swords and it was going to go away. Amen. But it took one of, it took one of name and servants to say, listen, man, listen, snap out of this. This is, this is God's word talking to you. You was expecting to hear something different. That's the only thing wrong with you. Yeah. Amen. But, but look what happened. He obeyed him. Yeah. He obeyed God's word. It didn't make sense to him. But he obeyed God's word. The same thing about the, 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 the Israelites walk, marching around the wall at Jericho. That's still one of the stories, y'all, that baffles me. Amen. They didn't, they didn't have to lift a finger to fight. He just said, march around this wall. March around this wall. Amen. It didn't make sense. They didn't question. They, listen, some of them did. Amen. Let me, let me correct myself. But, but it was their obedience. Amen. That led to the walls of Jericho coming down. Same thing with Peter. I'm reminded of, uh, about a bunch of stories. Peter was an a, 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 a expert fisherman, y'all. The Bible said that him and his friends, they, they fished all night long. All night long. And here comes Jesus. And he said, look, cast your net on the right side. Peter said, listen, who are you telling me I'm a fisherman, Lord? We've been out here all night, so you telling me these few feet right here. No, 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 no. They don't make sense to me. Amen. But, but his spirit man said, you know what? I'm going to obey you. And look what happened. They drawed in fish that they even had to call other boats to come in because of their obedience. Because of their obedience. Do you see the importance of obedience, man? Whether you understand it or not, y'all, it's time to walk in God's word, man. It's time to walk in God's word. And it's, and it, and it, and it's, it's so important. It's so important because it's actually the only way that you start to walk in prosperity. I'm talking about your soul prospering. Amen. Your body prospering. I'm talking about, I'm talking about what everything in your life begin to turn around. Amen. Because now you're, you're not walking by sight no more. You're walking by faith. Amen. You're walking by faith. And, it, and, I, and, I, and I understand, I understand that, that, that sometimes it seems like God is not answering our prayers as fast as we want him to answer them. Amen. And, and, and he's not showing up in our situation fast as, fast as he, we want him to show up. So, so sometimes, sometimes when he don't do that, we go a different direction. Amen. But, but, but I'm here to tell you, listen, stay on the course, man. Stay on the course. Amen. And I know a lot, I, I know a lot of you... It's, God has his hand on tabernacle. Yeah. All right? Let me say that. Because I know there's been some people that's been praying. God sees your prayers. Yeah. 
Amen. He hears your prayers. He's seen your tears. Amen. Amen. He's heard. Listen, he's seen how you have meditated on his word day and night. Amen. For those who have been obedient to God, I'm here to tell you today, your harvest season is coming. Amen. Your harvest, that's something to clap on. Amen. It's coming. Amen. Because I know I'm preaching this word, but there are people who, are, who have been walking with God. Amen. Who have been obedient. Amen. And who have not thrown in the tower. Amen. And, and they're still fighting the good fight. I'm telling you to stay in the fight, y'all. Yes. Stay in the fight. I don't care what it looks like. Obey God. Amen. And, 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 and his word tells us for it, it will come to pass if you diligently obey me. This is a lifestyle. Day in, day out, whether I, whether I, well, listen, whether I understand it or not, amen, day in, day out, diligently obey the Lord, amen. He, this is what he said, I will set you high above nations on the earth, amen. For those who have been pressing towards the mark, for those who have been obedient, Amen. I will allow blessings to overtake you, says the Lord. Amen. For those who have been, been, been obedient, the word is telling me that it's time for you to be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Amen. For those who are walking in obedience, the word is telling you that, listen, your body shall produce much fruit. Your children's children, amen, going to be able to eat of this fruit. Amen. Listen. The, the one I love the most, this, this, this is one of the things I, I love about this word right here. Amen. The Bible tells me that he will cause all of your enemies that rises up against you, amen, to be defeated. Yes. Let me stay right there for one second. All right. Let me stay right there for one second. Because as a believer... When you begin to walk in obedience, when I tell you attacks come from everywhere yes. and you scratch your head and say, what did I do to you? What did I say to you? I don't even know you. So why are you over here talking about this? Do you feel what I'm saying? Or why are you? So, so all those things, when you begin to walk in obedience, amen, you will fall under persecution. Yes. Amen. There's no way around it. You will fall under persecution, but stay in the fight. Amen. Obey what God's word is telling you. Amen. Don't repay evil for evil, though your flesh want to. Amen. Your flesh want to. The Bible tells you don't repay evil for evil. Amen. But, but, but and when you walk in there, he said, listen, I will make your, all of your enemies defeated. The Bible said they will come in one way, but I will cause them to flee seven ways. Seven ways they got to flee. Amen. So, so, so in, 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 your, in your quest, Amen. To, to, to walk in God, just know that there's always blessings when it comes to God's word. And, he's, and he goes on to say, I will establish you as a holy people. I will establish you as a holy people. If you keep my commandments, amen, if you keep the commandments of the Lord and walk in his ways, then all the people of the earth shall see, shall see that you are called by my name and they shall be afraid of you. Amen. That's that's God's plan for us to walk in obedience, for him to pour out blessings, amen, for him to show the, the rest of the nations, amen, that we belong to him, amen. It's, it's designed for other nations to reverence Christians, amen. That, that's, what it's, that's what it's supposed to be. We're supposed to be the city set on a hill. Amen. We're supposed to be that light, y'all. We're supposed to be walking in blessings that nobody, listen, they, 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 they supposed to be wondering and scratching their head. It's like, why, how in the world do they continue to get blessings after blessings after blessings? But it comes with your obedience. Amen. But what does that do, y'all? That draw people to God. When they see the light in you, when they see the blessings on you, amen, they can't help but to notice, amen, even if they don't like you, amen, they're going to still sit back and say you know what I, I, I see that everything that woman touches 
prosperous. Amen. I see that everything that that man does turns to gold. Amen. I always see him in a good mood. Amen. I always see him, see him with, with a positive attitude because he understands that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. Amen. So, so, so listen, make, make it your duty, y'all. Make it your duty from this day forth, amen, by any means to start walking in obedience. Amen. amen. To start walking in obedience and watch how God performs his word. Amen. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, amen, amen, we bid you to come. Amen. Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you've never accepted him, amen, as your Lord and Savior, plainly stated, you don't have salvation. All right? That's what I'm saying. If you're, if, listen, if you don't know that your eternity is secure, amen, if there's any doubt in your mind, 